Hi everyone, I wanted to make a video of my portable dishwasher. Um, it's made by Sunpin Town. Um, I'm going to just have the camera zoom in here on the model number of it and I'm going to show you the display panel. Um, over here it tells you the time of the cycle. I just actually ran this on the speed cycle. Um, I don't know if it just because it ran if it will let me scroll through it. And there's your time for in minutes for your all-in-one, your heavy duty, your normal, your light, your rooms, and your speed. Um, then you have your start and stop button. And that powers off the machine and you can just let that turn on all the time if you want because it's portable you unplug it to you know move it and put it over to store it out of the way um, it also has a delay timer um, this is the stainless steel version I think they make it in a white maybe um, but obviously I want the stainless steel uh, this ran the cycle a little bit ago. And so I ran some things in it. And they're kind of wet because I didn't open it right away because I wasn't home. So these would have, if I would have opened this up as soon as it was done, um, it would have dried already because of everything, it would have been hot and everything, the steam would have came out. Uh, this dishwasher is coming up on four years old, I believe. It does a really good job, I've been very happy with it. Um, it has a stainless steel cabinet inside. It, um, you have your two racks like a normal dishwasher. Everything's just kind of scaled down on a smaller size. You know, this is a compact version for smaller homes, you know, where having, you know, little space is an issue. Uh, this upper rack is adjustable. You can adjust it down, I believe. And then, if you zoom in here, like a normal dishwasher, this back compartment will flip down. Or lock back into place um, you know so it is pretty versatile you have your cutlery basket um, the handle will pop off the cutlery basket if you need it to so it's pretty versatile in that respect uh, you have you know your lower sprayer that one's stainless and then you have the upper one that's attached here that one's plastic uh, it does a nice job. Obviously, you have your heating element. And then down here is your drain. Now, it beeped again because when you have the power on and the door open, it beeps at you to let you know to turn it off or unplug it. Uh, but you have a screen down here that you unscrew it. And then you can take this to your sink and clean it out if any debris or food builds up in here. And then also there is a much finer screen that you can see it does have a little bit of junk on it. And you can take that, again, just to the sink. Sometimes I'll put a little soap on it and wash it off at the sink. And then you can just put it all back in. You don't have to wait for it to dry or anything. So that's definitely very nice. It allows you to service it and take care of everything. Um, I would say I've been extremely pleased with this. Everything has worked well on it. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, you do have a normal uh, dispenser for your detergents, and you can also put the um, like all in one, like the packs in, uh, like the little pods, like the Cascade. I've used them before without any issues. Um, what I normally use, and what I used in this load. Is I just use this foam olive. It's really cheap. It's only two fifty a bottle, and it seems to do a pretty good job, you know. And I normally always use the speed cycle because I rinse all my dishes beforehand normally, so they clean up 
you know, it cleans them pretty well, and the speed cycle is only a hundred and only an hour and ten minutes, so it goes really quick. You know, it doesn't take long at all. And obviously, have your there. You can put your rinse aid in, and it has an adjustment in there for the amount of rinse aid that is dispensed during each cycle. So that's very nice to have. Uh, I would say really the only con I found with this is, um, you know, the capacity is fine, everything's good. Uh, there's not a track for this lower, um, your lower tray or basket. It just wheels on the door and then back into the dishwasher on this little edge. But if you put too much weight on it or put it like put too much of a heavy item in one corner, it'll kind of buckle and it'll fall off track. Sometimes when you right there, it's fine because it's pretty light with just these two glass pans on it pretty much. But sometimes if it's too heavy, it'll go off track and you'll have to just reach in, pick it, pick this lower basket up and position it on the track and just sit it in place to run. Because if it's cocked, it can jam up the sprayer on the bottom and it's not going to clean properly. Uh, I'll shut the door. It beeps when you shut it when the power's on. Uh, it's pretty basic, not much to say about it. You know, no issues. I'll unplug it. You'll have a nice grounded plug, heavy cord. There's, you know, pretty standard. And then you have your typical uh, quick connect that you put on for pretty much any portable dishwasher. Uh, like you normally have to do, I have to let some of the water out of the hose so it doesn't make a mess and I put it away. And then there's your little red button that you hit to release the line pressure for the inlet water. And this thing is, um, you know, does have a computer chip in that will detect certain faults. Uh, I have had, once or twice I've had, I forget, it's like an E1 or E2 code, I forget which one it is. But um, with this adapter, there's a screen in here. And I'm on well water, and sometimes after a couple years, it'll build up with some sediment and clog this. And it, once or twice, it's set on the, uh, it's set that code that um, it's not getting, it's a low volume, low water pressure inlet code. So you just clean the screen, and then it's perfectly fine. But it will actually prevent the dishwasher from running when it gets that code. Um, because it'll start to fill and then it senses there's an issue and then it pumps the water out and then it flashes with the code and won't run. So it shuts the machine down. Um, which is fine, you know. I only have to do this every few years. I mean, I think it's really, a, it's only ever caused it once. And I did it a second time a couple years ago. Well, actually, it was just last year, I think, um, because the dishwasher wasn't getting the code, but I realized the water wasn't coming out as quick, and being in the kitchen, I like to be able to have a good flow of water, felt pots or water plants or whatever, so I just did it for myself, not the dishwasher, to keep it happy. So I've been very pleased with this dishwasher, and everything's going well with it. Um, I don't mind doing dishes by hand, but it's nice to have a dishwasher, you know, to sanitize everything and to keep it clean. Uh, you know, with the heating element in a dishwasher, they get it nice and hot and it cleans things well. Um, I like it because I do some things every, probably once or twice a year, I take like my globes off my ceiling fans and I put them in the dishwasher and I you know, get any fly poop or any dust off of them. So I do like having a dishwasher. And with having a small kitchen 
I only had three base cabinets, so you can't really, I'm not going to take one out to put a full-size dishwasher in. I only have three total, and the one is at the sink. So this was really the best option. I forget how much it was. I think it was four or five hundred. I don't, it was somewhere around that price range, wherever I got it. Um, it wasn't a bad price. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't bothered by the price. It was well worth the money, I feel. Um, four years into it, it's been great. It's done a wonderful job. Very pleased with it. If you have a small home and, you know, space is a constraint for you, uh, definitely give this thing a try. And it's nice you can get in a stainless steel model. So even if you have a small space, you can still, you know, give it a modern, you know, more expensive look. I hope you guys liked this review and hopefully it was helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe.